how to calculate IV for NSE options. So uh, IV is the implied volatility for the national stock exchange options, right? So I would uh, generalize this question, how to calculate IV for any uh, option. Uh, so basically implied volatility is calculated by plugging in the values of the option prices, the strike, uh, the volatility, uh, the, sorry, the interest rates uh, and the uh, current uh, underlying price, uh, all that into the Black-Scholes uh, equation to get the volatility. So this volatility is the implied volatility for any option. Uh, for uh, uh, any option chain you look at, uh, be it an NAC option or be it for any of the S&P 500 uh, stocks, uh, you will find the current price of uh, uh, the particular underlying. You will find the strike price. You will find the last traded price of uh, the put or the call option, whichever you want uh, for your calculation. You will find the uh, uh, interest rate. So a bit on the interest rate is like it is the overnight lending rate. So uh, you can use the uh, 91 day uh, uh, T-bills or uh, similarly in India, you can use the overnight lending rate, uh, which is shared on the RBI website. So uh, plugging in these values into the Black-Scholes uh, 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 equation, you can calculate the implied volatility. Uh, to elaborate a bit further on this is that uh, this implied volatility might not be uh, the same for you and any other calculator uh, iv calculator which you find on the internet the simple reason is that uh, uh, most of the models which calculate iv they are not vanilla black scholes model or black 1975 model there are some modification of that uh, now why is this modification done this modification to the black scholes or any sort of option pricing model is done so that it more accurately depicts the option pricing uh, when 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 you take the current volatility right like if you know the current volatility, you can calculate the option price. If you know the option price, then you can calculate the implied volatility. So this sort of interoperability interoper is done. But when you do, like when you look at any option chain and you say, okay, now I know this particular uh, uh, option uh, price, the strike and the underlying, let me calculate the IV. That IV is not your volatility. Right, that, that value would be, IV would generally be very high uh, in uh, respect to, to the volatility of uh, the market, right? So uh, the reason for this is that uh, the pricing of, this op of these options is not uh, done on the basis of any of these models. It is done by market making. The models just try to emulate or try to mimic as close as possible to the real life situation but it is not always the case. So they try to do some sort of adjustments and so on. So uh, it might be a bit difficult uh, for a new user to uh, try to make your own option model, but for advanced users, uh, you, you can use stochastic maths, uh, stochastic calculus, and then you uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, do some sort of adjustments of your own to get, a, uh, get your own customized option pricing model. Uh, but that is not really, uh, like I, I would say it, it's not worth the effort. As a retail trader, you can very well use the, op uh, the Black Scholes model or Black 1975 model for the purpose of calculating IV uh, because that, that would, uh, like definitely the IV would change for different models, but it would not be uh, a very big difference in terms of how, how you want to trade. Like it will uh, uh, marginally affect your trading decisions. So uh, the best way forward is to uh, plug these values in Black-Scholes model and then get the IV.